we're creating an icon based logo using our Canva. I feel like icon based logos were designed for Canva and our channel because we spend a lot of time manipulating shapes to create logos. So today we are doing an icon based logo. Join me. Just as a quick by the way, what is an icon based logo? It's an image that illustrates a real object. It's probably an image that comes to your mind when you think of a logo. That's what we're creating together today. Angle, you asked. So we are going to open our logo canvas and we're gonna start designing. Once you've opened your logo canvas, I always try to rename it so that I know where to find my design. That's just one tip that you need to make sure that you do when you keep on designing on Canva. Next, we're going to press L for line in order for us to start creating this brush icon based logo. Let's rotate it and then change color and make it black so that we are able to see what we're doing when we're busy designing. We'll change it at a later stage and make it a white. Next, you're going to duplicate your line so that you have a brush look-alike feel of the icon. And I'm going to fast forward this because it's going to be tedious. So you're gonna create one line, size it, duplicate that, create another line, size it, and duplicate that, and so on, until you have a full brush that's created. We're then going to press R for rectangle or pick the square shape on the lines and shape in order for us to create the middle section of our paint brush. You're then going to size it so that it is a little over the lines because the brush would be outside the lines and the lines of the brush would be sticking on the square. Then size your square shape above the lines and then arrange it in such a way that it looks like a paint brush or the middle of the paint brush. You're then going to click where we adjust our rounded shape and then we adjust it so that it gives us a corner rounded look that looks like a paint brush. Change the color of your paint brush and make it a nice gold color and then go back to your shapes and look for that arch up shape and add it to the design. Size it and align it nicely so that it portrays a hold for your paint brush. The icon is pretty much done because all you do now you group it so that it is one design and then you go back to your shapes you look for your nice circle and then you add it as part of the design and that's pretty much it. If you're interested to present your design as a 3D, then you can download it as a transparent background and then visit www.photop.com and convert it. Select PSD templates and then scroll down through your mockups and pick the one that you like. Click on the link and wait for it to load. After it has loaded, you then double click where it says your logo here and then you hide the text. You drag your icon based logo to your canvas and then you change it to smart object you can always use command s or control s to change that and then you click once where it says white logo mockup and then it's converted to 3d if you want to watch more designs like this we did a nice pet animal one with the same colors go watch this next video i will see you on the next video Thank you.